hello friends welcome to the cloud big youtube channel my name is manoj and today we will learn how to enable archive mailbox in office 365 so archive mailbox is like an additional space in your mailbox so that you can store the old messages there so it is also known as in place archive we will use this blog as a source to enable archive mailbox so these are some benefits like increased space it provides us with additional storage space in data retention policies so when we need to move our old data to the archive mailbox automatically so we enable the data retention policies so in that case we need the archive mailboxes and the third is for the better performance less space in your mailbox makes it slow if there is low space in your mailbox so it will load slowly it is better to move your old or unwanted data to the archive mailbox now we will see how to enable archive mailbox so it can be done through the exchange admin center and it can also be done through the microsoft powershell so we will see both methods one by one so let's start with the exchange admin center method so first we will log into our office 365 account you will require a global admin account to perform this operation or exchange admin account so here go to the admin center here click on show all and go to the exchange admin center here click on the mailboxes under recipients also remember one thing you should have active mailbox like you should have active microsoft 365 license to enable the mailbox so here click on any user whose archive mailbox you want to enable here go to the others and here you can see the mailbox archive and it is disabled so here click on manage mailbox archive and enable it you can give any name so it will create a separate mailbox with that name it will be inside your account so you can name it as in place archive or whatever you require now click on the save button okay now you can see it is successfully updated you can check it again and you can see the archive is enabled so with the exchange admin center you will need to enable archive mailbox one by one so there is no option to enable archive mailbox from the admin center in bulk so for that we can use the power cell okay now let's go to the power cell method so here open windows power cell and run it as administrator now first we need to connect to the exchange online so this is the command to connect to exchange online now we are connected to the exchange online with powershell you can see the commands here you can also copy these command from this blog also i have provided these commands in the description you can copy from there i have shared the blog link in the description also so first one this is the command to enable archive mailbox for single user so you can copy this command just paste here in the place of user mailbox we need to provide email address so we will check which user have archive disabled Okay. here you can see that uh, this user has not enabled their archive mailbox so we will copy this email address and paste here in the command now our command is ready so we will copy this command and uh, run it in the powershell now you can see the archive mailbox is enabled now so we can check it from here ok 
okay now here you can see the update has been changed here and the mailbox archive is enabled so this is the another command if you need to enable archive mailbox for all users so you can simply copy this command and run it in the powershell once you run this command it will search for all the mailboxes whose archive mailbox is disabled and then it will enable the archive mailbox for that users the another command is for selected mailbox suppose you have 100 of users and you want to enable archive mailbox for only 5 to 10 users so this command will work in that case you will need this command just copy this command here okay now we need a csv file so you can create a csv file keep header as email and here provide the email addresses first i am going to disable archive mailbox for for one or two users okay now we will copy their addresses and save here okay now you need to save this file as csv so here choose the csv option and save now we need to copy the path of the file copy the path of the file and paste here in the place of file path so copy this command and run in the powershell so you can see it has enabled the archive mailbox for these users so you can also verify this you can see the archive has been enabled for this user you can see here so both user mailboxes archive has been enabled so you can choose any of the method to enable archive mailbox thank you guys for watching the complete video if you have any queries regarding this you can ask us in the comment section don't forget to like and subscribe our channel. Also follow us on other social media platforms. Social media links are in the description.